Mount Kilimanjaro. It's the highest mountain in Africa and the highest freestanding mountain in the world. It's also a dormant volcano. But that has nothing to do with this video at all. Stick around, guys. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Hey, hey, you too. Welcome back to Arab and Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Got an Amazon box today, guys. Let's open it up. I know what it is. I've uh, been wanting a neck knife for quite a while because I've never been a neck knife person. But I saw this one online, and right now online, on Amazon, it's $23.20. But at the time that I ordered it, it was only $14.97. That's a good price in my book. Especially for just a neck knife. It's not going to be like a, a work knife or anything like that. But it's called the Kilimanjaro Strata Tactical. Here's that word I don't like. Neck knife. And I didn't buy it because it was tactical, but uh, yeah, here it is right here. I'll go over some of the specifications for you. It comes with a uh, nice sheath and a neck chain, it looks like, as well. So uh, let me get it cut open, and we'll take a closer look at the Kilimanjaro Strata neck knife. Alright, so here we go. We, they already have it on the chain, which I don't know, I might replace that with some other type of cord, but I guess the chain will go better through the sheath. Let me take this little point guard off there. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's not very comfortable. Uh, it's really, really thin, which is what I wanted. Now, I, I can't blame that on the knife. I wanted a neck knife that I could wear underneath a shirt. So, uh, let me take this hat off, put this on here. So that when it's on, it's not obvious, you know? And I'm poking out, and, it's, and this one doesn't. I can adjust the length of it. I am gonna shorten it a little bit, cause this one thing's way down on my belly button. And I wanted to hang about right here. But, um, Apologize for the hat here, guys. But yeah, let me put this knife away first and uh, go over some of the statistics with it and figure out how it works. Okay, I see. So yeah, it has a button on the sheath here where the finger hole is. It won't come out if you just pull on it, which is good. You have to push this little button in and pull it out. So push that in and that your finger kind of gets stuck in there. Well guys, I'm kind of glad it was only $14.97 because my first couple of impressions are not all that great. Like I say, it's got a polymer, some type of polymer sheath. I don't like that button. So you have to push in and pull, and when you do that, your finger gets stuck between the sheath and the knife. And then on top of that, it looks like it would be comfortable. And online, it looked like it would be comfortable. But it is so thin, and I have small hands. So the plus is that it is thin. So it doesn't bulk out on under a shirt. Uh, it's very sharp, I can tell. It, right out of the box, it is like razor sharp. It's got a nice design to it. And I've never heard of Kilimanjaro knives before. Let me go.
go over some of the specifics with you now. Alright, so here's a closer look at it. You can see there the strata. And this is the steel. It's I've never heard of this kind of steel before. But uh, AQR13MOV, that's the type of steel that it is. See over here they've got their logo. But it's a good looking knife. You can see how thin it is. And it, uh, it's got a nice place for your thumb to go here and your forefinger to go there. That's a big forefinger hole. Maybe somebody had bigger hands, but they're the, it just it's just not really that comfortable. But I guess, you know, it's not going to be like a working knife. And there's nowhere for my pinky to go. It just kind of laps over here. But I guess you could get down and close with that. It's got a good looking design to it. It's a good looking knife. And it's got just one of those um, dog tag type of chains. And I can adjust that and shorten it, which I will. And then the sheath... You can see here's the button that you have to push, but like I say, the knife will only go into the sheath one way, and when it does, you have to push that button down to pull out. So this is what it looks like in the sheath. So yeah, I I don't know. I've got I'm gonna have to test it out. Like I say, this isn't a review. This is a box opening. The overall length of the blade of the knife is 6.4 inches. The blade length is 3.2 inches. The weight is 3 ounces. It's got a rubberized handle, a polymer sheath. It is full tang construction. And it's got some ridging back here with the grip, but that Honestly, I don't know. That's not all that comfortable. I mean, it's like I say, it's got a good spot for your thumb there. But these ridges right here, I don't know what the purpose of that is. You can see how thin it is. Yeah, the, the metal, or the blade material, is stainless steel. But it's uh, it says here, 8... CR 13 MOV. I don't know what that means. I've never heard of that kind of steel before, but I'm not up on steel, so leave some comments below and let me know what you think about that type of steel for this type of knife. You know, like I say, he's rubberized. These are kind of soft handles here. So that's not like a hard plastic. It's like a a soft rubber. Seems like a very durable knife. I mean, it's thin, but the blade thickness there, I think it'll do a job. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to try it out, guys. Are y'all familiar with Kilimanjaro knives? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, I just thought I would share this box opening with you. The Kilimanjaro Stretta drop point sheath knife it's got a lifetime warranty on it so i guess if something were to happen uh i'd be covered we'll test it out on another video and uh, i'll do a review of it but i just wanted to open up the box and see i'm not happy it's just not that comfortable and i'm not happy with that button that you have to push to open it to get the knife out but hey 15 bucks free shipping so anyway hey guys i appreciate you coming along if you uh have already subscribed to my channel i greatly appreciate you coming back if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for i'd love to have you here at urban outdoors and until next time keep calm carry on and keep it outdoors